Max and Betty Willstone Nelson's RVs here in Boise. Thank you guys for calling. Here is the 2003 Northwood Arctic Fox 990S. And the busted light we will fix. A little bit of trim needs replaced right there, but we'll do that. And the nose still solid. We got the diamond plate, bumpers. I climbed up on the roof. The roof looks good. Slide side seals. You got two bulb seals here. The, uh, I'll show you the three things that I found with it that I didn't like. And one of them we can fix. Two of them we're not even gonna worry about. Here is one of two. Now this is the this is the uh, security box skirt. And it's a little soft right there. But you better remember that our deck is right there. So this is just cosmetic down here. And it's not gonna affect anything. It's kind of doing what all of them do. So that's not a big worry, but I like I said, I want to tell you everything that I see. So the roof seals are still pliable, they're they're in real good shape. I don't think you'd have to monkey with them for quite a while. But this is the opposite side skirt. And you can see it's just a little soft there. So looking inside, four season rig. Happy Jack remote. Cover some of the things going down the side here for you. We've got seven and a half gallon LP bottles on a slide out tray. It's actually, it does slide out, but we'll get, see if I can get both these guys in one hand. And that'll come all the way out. Just like anything, inch thick storage doors. This, this door gives us some plumbing access into the side of the coach. Don't find any signs of water coming in in this guy at all. So here's your outside shower, hot and cold. Six gallon quick recovery water heater. Slide out battery tray. Metal door clips, no plastic. It's going to be your fresh water fill. Got a couple of 110 outlets over here on this side. Cable satellite, city water hookup, galvanized steel LP lines, heavy duty tie down brackets. Okay, I do see something now. All right, I didn't see this before. This is probably just a product of this sidewall has been wet right here. So I can see that it is coming undone just a little bit. But in my opinion, that is just cosmetic stuff. It's, let's take a look top side again through this hole. So you can see this is plywood right here and it hasn't affected that at all. This is still good and hard. And I don't smell anything at all in here. So that's gonna be just the, just the wood down underneath. And we might even talk about doing some replacement on that. So those are the two things that I see on the outside. The thing that I'll kind of give you an overall view first and then we'll we'll go through and I'll show you some things. So corners, I always want to concentrate on corners. They're going to they're going to tell you how much wear you've got on a camper. And the corners of these things are just in super super condition for a camper of this age. window treatments. Um, blinds are all in really good shape. Still staying up. Um, it's got the Ozite carpeted ceiling, so I'll kind of comb that real quick for you. And we'll go corner to corner. No stains anywhere. So no soft spots in the roof. The roof looked wonderful. It absolutely looked great. Got the fantastic fan. Okay. So we'll start kind of, oh, let me, I want to show you what I'm talking about. So this runner right by the booth dinette, this is a little bit soft in the hinge right here. It's not because of water. It's just, 
I think what it is is just how they built it. You know, the plywood's kind of given away a little bit over time, but you can see that if I put there we go. It's real hard. No signs of water damage down there at all. So the inside of this camper is dry as a bone. It never has been wet. So inside the shower ceiling, we'll kind of comb around that. No soft spots at all, no stains. Okay, coming into the galley, we have a 22 inch oven, three burner stove top. And there is, if you can see it, there's a, there is a plastic splash guard running around that thing. Uh, we've got the uh, vent line brand. He's still using that today with the hood light and hood fan. Microwave. Just clean. Really clean unit. Kenwood AM FM receiver CD player. All the manuals. Still here. Love it when the provenance comes back with them. And there is our water pump. We can test levels. We've got uh, the gray tank, black tank, fresh water, and battery condition. Um, now, down underneath, drawer. And a small drawer. Okay, Norcold six cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Up in the bedroom, we've got our big wardrobe closet and counter extension there. And then the hampers on either side. Two brass struts. Still have a front window. 12988. Television on the slide out bracket. Still works. And then over on this side We've got the hamper, and this one's cut all the way through, so we can get all the way down on this guy. This is kind of hard to do one-handed, but a little bit acrobatic. Fire egress on the side rather than out the top. These guys have always figured they don't want you jumping off the roof if it's already, if it's on fire, so. Really overall, a really nice shape. Um, the two skirts outside, yeah, they could be fixed and probably should. Um, but is it detrimental to structural? No. And does it affect the inside smell? Not at all. So pull out pantry tray, and I'll show you how that works. There's a little button down on the bottom. Slide that guy out, and these are all adjustable baskets. We can move those wherever we want. So, that should do it. Um, I'll get this thing downloaded and we'll get it to you and let me hear your thoughts on it. You guys can call me anytime. Thank you. Bye-bye.